I tell stories by cutting designs in paper with a, an X-Acto knife. My name is Andrea Martin and I'm a paper cutter. I've been drawing all my life. I love drawing and I really like uh, representational art and I like the very graphic nature of the black and white, but I also really like the challenge of looking at something and saying, well, how can I make that into a paper cut? You know, how can I make that two-dimensional? You know, how can I show something without color? Um, you have to kind of trick the eye into seeing something that's not really there. I want the fox to look like he's hidden behind these leaves, and I think I can do that by making hatch marks to show his fur, and that'll make the leaves um, stand out and look like he's behind it. The piece that I'm currently working on is a piece for the Roseville Library. I was asked to do a paper cut of a garden that would show the different um, plants and animals that are found in their garden at the library. I spent a long time researching what um, plants and animals were native to Minnesota. For example, what kind of rabbits live um, in Minnesota? What kind of grasshoppers was I seeing? So in some ways I wish I could just cut a grasshopper, you know, without doing the research, but I actually enjoy that part as much as I do the paper cutting. When I first went to college, I had to decide between being a biology major or an art major, and I chose biology. I'm really glad that I did take biology classes. It taught me observation, you know, it taught me to see the world a little bit differently, and I think um, that this shows up in my paper cutting. It shows up in the details. Um, um, I love the details in, in my work. I had my own scientific illustration business, so I drew graphs and I drew um, pictures of animals and things like that in pen and ink. Um, then I became a teacher, uh, taught science um, for many years. <laughs> always incorporating art somehow into the work I was doing with the kids in science. It's really important as a scientist to observe. I do a lot of daily walking and I look at the animals and plants and how they're interacting with each other. I look for sources of water for animals. I look at patterns in nature. Patterns in nature um, really fascinate me. And so if I'm out and I see a leaf that has been eaten by a Japanese beetle, um, I look at that and say, oh, that's a paper cut. It's, it's a beautiful. Um, people don't like Japanese beetles. They're invasive species, but they actually make beautiful leaf paper cuts. The paper cutting that I do, I think, have some messages sort of hidden in them. I mean, I'm interested in putting a smile on people's faces, but I'm also interested um, in people getting messages about how the environment is affecting the animals. Um, I did a piece called View from the Other Side, and it shows a woodpecker all by itself in dead trees. In the background, you can see the city. I was thinking about uh, loss of habitat for animals when cities are built and expand especially, um, and what animals would survive and what wouldn't. 
my next paper cut, I'm interested in doing something along the lines of um, global warming. And so I'm planning images and things that will be on this paper, but also looking at color in my work too and how I can use that to an advantage, you know, to get my message across better. But I also like just pretty pictures. <laughs> Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.